there, it's Sandy Alnock, Bible Journaler here on YouTube, and I'm back again with a fun video. I think you'll like this one. It's in acrylic paints, and it was inspired by insomnia from Psalm 63, 6. On my bed, I remember you. I think of you through the watches of the night. And yes, I suffer from insomnia. And it's been rough of late because we've had so much going on, but I've got a piece of copier paper with the lines drawn that are just kind of outside of the boundaries of where I need to paint. So I want to paint past that and I should have continued the lines further so I knew exactly where to trim because that was a little problem later. So draw your lines all the way out to the edge of the page, just crisscross them and, and let those borders carry out there so you know how far to do your trimming. So I'm starting by just squirting on some acrylic paints and I'm going to make a triangle. Just a very loose triangle with a big old fat like dollar and a half brush that you can get pretty much anywhere. It's just a, a really loose brush. And throw in some fun colors that would be fun sky colors. I'll throw a little pink in there. You can do some other colors. I was going to try to do something here that didn't work all that well. I wanted to have some yellow down at the bottom with some white so that it would look like almost like a flashlight going up into the sky. And that didn't work because now it turned into this like weird green gray color. But I had ideas to fix that. So not a big problem. So I took the white paint and mixed up a little bit. I dropped on some water from my finger to kind of wet out the paint a little. So it wasn't like super thick and goopy. And that it would flick with an old toothbrush. Just kind of putting stars all over this sky background I've got going on and just flick, 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 flick. It's a nice, fun, messy thing. Your kids could do this. It's really fun. And I took the rest of the paint that was on the surface there and just wiped it up with a baby wipe and applied that down at the bottom. So now I have that as my light that's being cast up into the sky. Because the idea here is to create a, a channel of reaching up to the Lord in the middle of the night. That's what I wanted to do. So. I had some paint left on my brush, so I decided to do some transition color in between there, do a little splooging on of the blue so that the white wouldn't be quite so far up and I could get rid of a little of that green that I made. And then I took some black and just splooged a little on the left and right. And I'm gonna paint over top of things until I get an edge. And I'm not even worried about making it a sharp edge. You could actually tape it off if you really wanted, but I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal. So I just have a rough edge from this big old fat brush that I'm making to create the night sky outside of the night sky. So the, the outer night sky is just the bleak part. And the channel that I'm creating is my prayer to God and his grace coming down to me. So down here in the corner, you can have a number of other things. I'm going to put a house down there, but you could put a flashlight. You could put a little person like you down there whatever you are shining the light from. I squeezed on some green to just splooge on some grasses down there and then put black down below. So I'd almost have just a little bit of green highlight on the top of the grass and the rest of it would be just really dark black. Most of that's gonna get trimmed off, but I wanted to have that, that grass line in there somewhere. And then I had a little bit of paint left on that brush, so I just flicked some of that onto the other part of the sky, the black part so that there would at least be some stars out there. And the area that I'm creating that triangle is the, the channel between me and God. When I was a baby Christian, I was asking somebody once, why do Christians raise their hands when they, when they sing or when they pray? Like, what's up with that? And this one friend of mine explained it in a way that really made sense to me. She said she does it and she pictures her arms in the air making a big triangle, a big V that aims heavenward. And the big V is a channel for God's grace to come down to her and her prayers to go up to God. And that's where this kind of idea even came from, was just creating that connection between me and God in the middle of the night. So I've got my little house down here. I started making a yellow house because I thought that would be fun and it was too bright. Uh, you can't see the color really well in here, but it's super dark. <laughs> the lights just shine on the shiny paint. But the, the house needed to be darker, so I made it red. 
and I bumped up the color on the grasses that's right next to the house so that I would have the light shining from the window onto the grasses and that sort of thing. So I've got yellow and green mixed just in that area around the house. And I thought, no, the, even the house is probably a little bit too much on the bright side. So I waited for that to dry. Uh, the house is painted, when I started painting the house, I had let everything dry really well beforehand anyway. And so now I'm going to go over the, the back part of the house, mostly with a thinner coat of red, or the thinner coat of the black, so that it's a little watered down and you're going to see some of the red through it, but it'll knock back some of the color. I just wanted that bright red on the front and the yellow in the window, because that really kind of looked like nighttime to me. So you can kind of barely see it there. Well, you can see it better now that it's, now that the page is trimmed down and finished, I put some Be Creative tape on the back edge of my piece and lined up my edges. I did use a corner rounder to round them out and make them match my Bible and slip this in here so I can get that tape to stick down in the crease of the Bible. So it's kind of cool. I mean, it's a really dark page, but it's really cool to see how this came out with a little tiny house down there. And I just wrote, Dad, you up? Because there's another friend of mine, I remember I was shocked when he said he calls God Dad, which is Abba. You know, he's our father and Dad really personalizes it. So I just thought, Dad, you up? I'm up. I'm praying. Are you there? And I know he's there, but it just seemed like the right thing to put on this page. So I hope you enjoyed this, and if you did, please click the like button. I will see you again next week with another video. Take care. Bye-bye.